So we need to find another five twin bloodstone shards. That should not be very hard. They are everywhere in the forest. Then we'll go upgrade and do shadows. Please don't kill me. Thank you. Even though they're everywhere, though, like I still have no idea where to find them. <laughs> we'll find them, though. We could have actually like stayed in the DLC to get some junks, too, to make this even easier, but don't need it to be that easy. Files, anything? Nope, that's a dead end. And before Michael Zaki updated the game to shovel all the blood sent shard locations. That'd be very mean. I already don't know where they are. Actually, I guess it wouldn't be any different for me. I shouldn't say I don't know where they are, because I know where like a good amount are, but I get a lot of items confused. So what do we need? No, 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 bleh. Can't talk. Another three still. I thought I picked up a third one, but I only picked up two. Or am I going this way? Shortcut, we'll get that. Then we hunt down shards. I want to try this weapon out a little bit. So I think, is a transform attack just that thrust constantly? It feels like that's what it is. Nice. Vials. Too bad he accidentally deleted the source code when making room for the Elden Ring DLC. Whoops. Oh god, the watchdog fight. I just realized it's gonna be miserable as well when we get there in uh, Chalices. Especially the defiled one. Bloodstone shard? No. Bloodstone shard? No. I know there is one around here, though, somewhere. This one, maybe. Nice. Blood and stone? Yeah, that's a sad reality. Oh, I think we're good. Eight? Eight. I can stop picking them up. Now they're just gonna be every item I pick up. There is a chunk here, too, but I can never remember where you find it. Not that it would help without two other ones, but still, it exists. Mm, is it over here? No, it's where the... There's like three snake dudes. I don't know where they are, though. But I know it's there. I have no idea where I'm going. I don't think this is the right way. Well, it's kind of the right way, I guess. It's like on this road. That's where you want to go. I have done so many playthroughs of this game, and I still get confused on how to get through here. I at least know how to get from the elevator to the boss. Like, that's a, that's a win. But it's the section between the elevators that always confuses me. And of course, I sent that other elevator back up because I forgot that I had to go back and upgrade it like, once more. I think it'd be kind of cool if this had a different transform attack when it was already buffed. That'd be neat. Repair? No, fortify. Ooh, wait. No, oh, that's not the durability. I'm sorry. I saw 560. I'm like, holy moly, that's durable. Is 100 the durability? Oof. That seems really bad. Another blood gem. Slot. 1.1% more damage. Alright, shadows time. Shadows, Rom, and then my nemesis. One reborn. What's the scaling on this now? B? Okay. Respectable. Isn't there a rune around here somewhere? Underneath this? I don't know why I just thought about this, but... I don't even know what it does. Probably won't even be useful. Plus, I can't use it until we do witches anyways. Bolt damage reduction? Yeah, that was a good choice to pick that up. All right, time for ultimate pain. This boss always gives me trouble. Plus six. Definitely helpful, though. Like, that's over half of my health in one hit. What do we deal if this isn't buffed, I wonder? Dude, stop. 148 on a running attack. 132. 
253 there. It's just a little slow, that's the only problem with that R2. In general, I mean, this is a very slow weapon. Wait, does that do like an AoE? I think it might, I can't tell. Can't tell if it's just like a visual effect or if it actually does damage. Surprised they haven't hit phase two yet. I guess I don't even know what point they really hit it in. Should be like now. No? I want to get this guy out of here. The guy with the katana that's not on fire. Yeah, it does. It has like a little bit of range on the the R2, not a ton, but it definitely extends out past the hammer. I think this is a weapon you just need to be really patient with. Also, like the, the follow up attack after you do a charge one just seems really slow. Because I think you can just R1 spam faster than doing like a buffed R1 and then another R1. But I don't know. I actually like I, it's hard to tell when you do so uh, many infrequent attacks. But that's definitely yeah no that's definitely the case because that's way faster than uh, doing a buffed R1 and then a normal R1. Brother. Where's the super dramatic music? What the heck? This works for this, though. Cool. Surprisingly not bad. Three shadows of Yarnum to show off the power of the PS4's dynamic shadows. Was that a, uh... Is that a big feature of the PS4? <laughs> more shadows. Yeah, more vitality, more strength. Me want smash. Oh. I thought this was the bottom tombstone. So I was confused. I'm like, I go there, right? Amazingly, this run's been pretty smooth. I get how it was smooth with the sock cleaver start, but now it's been... It's been fine with this. I keep forgetting Cleric Beast. All right, after this, we'll do Cleric Beast. Because the bold Hunter's Marks are going to make farming so much easier. Also, I did it... No, I didn't get the... I didn't get the Forbidden Grave Lantern, but that's fine. For FromSoft game, it kind of was Dark Souls 1 and 2 had a lot of baked lighting. Did you remember to kill every boss for the Longsword run? Uh, I think so. 
Hopefully. I definitely did all the DLC bosses. I don't think I did forget, but I'll have to, like, when I edit, that's when I go and see if I miss anything. I think I meant, like, if it did happen, I would do it off stream. Okay, maybe I can kill him with a buff star one. Nope, not quite. Bummer. Buff star two, though, for sure. The Australian Spiderus. Spiderus. We're just about 40% of the way through this game already. Well, once we finish this in the Holy Moonlight Sword, we will be. I actually really like the R2. Before. I'm gonna have to really pay attention to durability. Bloodborn 2 with a big R. Yeah. So yeah, this run might get put on uh, hold if I get the Noble Slender Sword. Because that's the run we're supposed to be doing. And then the Long Sword took over that one because I didn't get it. And I, and I still don't have it. I've been farming it. But uh, no luck yet. So maybe if I get it this weekend, then we'll be on Elden Ring instead of this run. But we'll finish this run after Elden Ring. Got the swatter for the spider. Dude, imagine killing spiders with a giant hammer. It's kind of fun, man. It's like a little scoop with the R2. I really like it. Double kill.
What? Why is that one out so far? What the heck? Not cool, Rom. Worth. Hello, Queen Yardum. Where are you? There you are. Alright then. Where to next? Chunk gathering. Try to get plus eight before uh, we do one reborn. We could go back to DLC. Level up. Split between vitality and strength, I guess. The only thing is, with the DLC, I don't really know where the chunks are. I think there's a bunch in the cave. We can go there. I'm back and stronger than ever. Not gonna get two shot here. No way. And I probably will still. Nope, not What's this? Frenzied cold blood. Too many dogs. Yeah, okay, so how I asked before, but like I'm trying to think of how many DLC weapons we've done. When I say ask, I ask myself, because I wouldn't expect anyone else to know. We've done the Rakuyo. We have done well, we're in the process of the Holy Moonlight Sword. Amygdalin arm, this weapon. I don't know if we've done anything else. Oh yeah, one shot here. <laughs> yeah. Famous last words. I think at least at least four. For sure. Not helpful. What's this? Not a chunk, probably. Frenzy, cold blood. Uh, that's not cool. That's I literally just couldn't move there. So yeah, amazing design. Could get the the, the uh, shortcut, but I don't think I'm gonna need it. Honestly, not planning on being here for that long. I just want to get some chunks. Get him, giant boulder. Got some of them. This is bad. Wait, you can break these things? I didn't even know that. You know, I didn't think that one was alive because I was like, why would they just put it behind the thing and have it facing themselves? Apparently I was wrong. I wonder where the Beast Hunter safe is. I think that's what that guy was using, one of them. Anyway, I wonder if any of them use the Boom Hammer. Don't know that I've seen one using the Boom Hammer. Like there's, what, 12 weapons in the DLC? 12 trick weapons? Not even including guns. DLC is big, but it's not like that big, you know? It's not like the size of a game. Not like the Elden Ring DLC will be. That's gonna be actually immense. Okay, let's try this again. This time with less death for me. Try hugging the left side this time. Look at that, it worked. Need to kill this dude. Is he not dead? Wow. Little trickster. Playing dead, and then he was gonna disappear. Okay, now where are the chunks at? The Migdalin arm is here somewhere. Chunk number one. Twin bloodstone shards. Also, you have a random bloodstarred beast here. Right there. Twin bloodstone shards. Oh, come on, man. Is this the amygdala arm? So there's one chunk in here? I thought there were more than that. I figured there was... Oh, wait, hang on. Okay. Got another one. Four. It's pretty decent. If I can get to eight, I, I'll be good with that for now. And we can get the rest of Mensis. There's a bunch in, probably in uh, Yard Ghoul, too, so... I think we can definitely get eight. Considering I, I usually have... Plus eight by the time I fight one reborn. What do you think that is? Damn. 
I think it's a death trap, that's what it is. Hello, it's always one more. Oh, that's just not a lot of damage. Any more chunks over here? Anywhere? Frenzied cold blood, not helpful. Feels like I'm doing a casual playthrough right now. I think we're just gonna go back to Yardgul and then uh, try and find four more there. Is there actually nothing over here? What's the point of that? Oh yeah, the pizza cutter. I forgot about that. We haven't done that, but I think it's on the list. Oh yeah, I remember this one. I don't know if that's a chunk over there, but we can see. Chunk. Oh, I gotta wear that. New drip. Did you get that noble sword? No. I'll probably do some more farming this weekend for it. Any chunks in here, I wonder? Probably not. Stop. I did get a noble's s -talk, But no slender sword. Well, this, he's gotta drop chunks. There's no way. He doesn't drop chunks. What else can he possibly drop? Blood gem, I guess. Two chunks. And then... This guy? Or, no, just bloodstone shards. What about down here? Chunk? Or cold blood? Or pebbles? Or two vials? Disappointing. It's alright, we're done here. Back to Yargul. Where we're going. Ooh, I only have uh, 18 vials. That's not good. I think I need... Is there a chunk over here? I don't know if there's a chunk over here. This, I think, is with the Iron Helm or something. Yargul Helm. I think I need one more chunk for plus eight. We should have seven. Mm-hmm. Seven. It's not my fault. I didn't do anything, dude. This guy's mean. It's all coming back to me now. Now I'm remembering where you get a bunch of chunks. There's two, I think, in the chapel basement, or maybe more than two. There's one here. There's the scurrying beast. Ow. Which of these have the fastest new game for me? Probably Dark Souls 3. But, I mean, in general, I think it's, what, probably Glitchless? Maybe Demon Souls? Where'd my sound go? That was weird. Let's go upgrade this. On, like, a normal run, I don't know why I'm talking to her. I can uh, usually get like two to three hours It'll, for any game. It doesn't matter what game. Any game would take me that long, which is funny that they all are similar like that. I think Demon's Souls is the quickest. I think if you know what you're doing, it is. I don't know. What's the fastest any percent glitchless speed run? I think it might be DS3, actually. I don't know. They're all like, what, like half an hour to an hour long? But for these runs, there's a lot of other factors, too, like where the weapon is, if I have to go to DLC, things like that. All right, let's go. I guess we'll go all the way down. Get this chunk first. That's not the chunk. The chunk is... Is it further down? It might be further down. Oh, there it is. Two of them. What was that? What just happened? One more chunk to get, or I guess it's two, really. And then we just need another two, and then we uh, get, get plus nine. Take those. I still have no idea what did that damage before. Files for days. I'm not complaining, though. Oh, was it a cannon plus something else? I don't, I don't really know. Because there was definitely some lightning.
Oh, I'm looking forward to this fight. I'm never looking forward to this fight. I try fighting one reborn differently here, though. Differently than I normally do, just to kind of, like, learn things a bit. Because when you're on this boss's side, you can't really see what the hell he's doing. You're just kind of getting hit by random limbs. I think you're always getting hit by random limbs, though, to be fair. Why you always gotta be mad? Oh my god, that doesn't one-shot her. That's a little disheartening. I definitely feel like for sub-weapons, they put more, like attention to detail on them than other ones, and this kind of seems like one of the ones they didn't put the attention to detail on. Because when you do an R2, your weapon's on your left side, like, and you can't swing left or right with an R1 after that. Some weapons you can. Not this one, though. How did that even hit me? Like, what the hell, man? Okay, the uh, last bell lady's still alive. Over here somewhere. There she is. Okay, let's see. 193 and then immediately lose a third of my health. Maybe I'm just gonna fight him the same way I always do. This damage is uh, not great. This is plus eight, by the way. I just, I really don't understand this boss at all. What do they want you to do here? What are you supposed to wait for to attack? And he spewed. And of course, of course, he staggered when this stuff is down, so I can't even do anything here. Big damage, though. We're running out of aisles, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't understand this boss at all. That's gonna hurt. Okay, never mind, it's fine. Like, he just puts his leg near you and then explodes the leg and then you just take a billion damage. It sucks, man. This boss is a nightmare. Stuck. Why are you- how are you even casting anything? You're stunned. Doesn't even make sense. I 
I could do that. I could just run out and then run back in. And maybe eventually I win. Oh, that's a scary attack. Corpses. I feel like I should heal. One more running R2, maybe? Actually worked, wow. Whoa, so loud. Bloodborne R2, yes, Bloodborne 2. I don't think it's that loud for you guys, but for some reason, like, that explosion is just very loud on my end. Maybe it is loud on your end, I don't know. Sorry if it is. Level 39. DS2, Great Soul Embraced is the worst. Yeah, and that, that sound just goes on forever, too. I'm gonna repair this. It's actually not that bad. It only went to 95? Oh, yeah, because I literally just leveled it. Well, never mind then. Mensis. Grab some chunks, get this to plus 9. I gotta do some more DS2 after this. Gotta do the Cyan's Halberd still. I'm at the, like, the tail end of that run. Probably two hours left. So we want the red jelly. Gonna go grab that. I never ended up doing Cleric Beast, I just realized. I think we'll go do that. Let me get the red jelly, we'll get the Mensis um, thing, and then we'll uh, go do Cleric Beast. How's the damage on the Science Halberd? It's, it's okay. I think it's getting better. It was pretty rough to start New Game Plus, but I didn't have a lot of damage stats at that point. I mean, I added like a fair amount, but... I think it's getting better. It's still really slow, though, but I think that's just kind of the nature of the run. It's me using the Cyan set plus a shield, so I never have any stamina. Was the infusion? Dark. Do this. Oh, I always forget the lantern's, like, a ways up. It's not right at the beginning of this area. What do I need? Two more chunks? Yeah. We'll get those next time. I'm just gonna grab this lantern. I'm not gonna even bother. This guy's chasing me. Not worth it. We'll get the lantern and go do Cleric Beast. Yeah, I have three DST runs going up right now on YouTube. I have the Bone Fist, which just, just started. Oh, I gotta get Vials, too. And then the uh, Berserker Blade. That one's almost done. Cyan Halberd is probably like midway, I think. I love the sky at this point during the game. I love this color. And the Blood Moon. Not even close. Gray slaughtered. Cool. Now we can get old hunter's marks. Hooray! It's very good for farming. That's why I want them. I can farm vials more easily. Pick some of those up. Three. Oh, I had four because of uh, Eileen. I forgot about that. Whoops, because I definitely used regular hunter's marks for a bit. My bad. 